Joe Biden now has the support of several of his former rivals, but so far the ultimate game changer for the vice president, the former vice president, would seem to be South Carolina Congressman Jim Clyburn and his Biden's team looks for more big wins today. The congressman not done using his influence to help Joe Biden. Congressman Clyburn joins me now from Washington. Uh, Congressman, good to see you again, sir. You've you've campaigned for your friend in North Carolina. You've recorded robocalls. I understand you're planning to travel to the West Coast in the coming weeks to campaign on his behalf. How confident are you that this new as you called it, Jomentum, how confident are you that this, this Jomentum is going to help propel him tonight? Well, thank you very much for having me, Craig. Uh, I'm very confident uh, that Joe Biden is going to do well. You know, if you look at uh, Steve Kornacki's uh, board there, uh, California is a big chunk uh, tonight. We won't know about that until sometime tomorrow. But also, if you look at that other big circle he put there and count those up, uh, it's about 350 delegates. So you'll come within 50 delegates of what is out there and available uh, in California. So I think that uh, Joe Biden is going to do very well in those southern states. He's going to do well because Texas is a southern state to me. And I think it, it will demonstrate that he is a very viable uh, candidate uh, for the rest of the way. So I'm looking for him to do well, keeping my fingers crossed. I think uh, it's best, uh, he's the best candidate to represent us in November. You, you said uh, a couple of days ago, I believe, you, you said that, um, that the Biden campaign needed to be retooled. Um, yes. They needed to make some, some tweaks. Uh, what, first of all, specifically, what did you mean by that? And, and do you think that the campaign has listened? Yeah, I think you've seen it uh, in the last uh, two or three days. What happened uh, in uh, Texas last night, uh, the way they put those that roll out those two big, well, three uh, former rivals. You know, I'm a big fan uh, of Team of Rivals. That book is sort of a Bible to me. And I saw unfolding last night uh, the kind of professionalism in this process that I've been looking for. So I really believe uh, that in my talks uh, with uh, Vice President Biden, I've told him uh, what I think he ought to do to sharpen his message. I saw that and heard that in his message last night. I think that uh, Joe Biden uh, was more uh, policy wonk than he should have been. He has to, I think, just be concise, zero in exactly what each one of his programs mean for each individual that he's talking to, that individual's family and that individual's community. The way he laid it out in his last several speeches, it is in pitch perfect. And when you watch the way that rollout was last night, uh, the campaign is doing much better. And a lot of that, I think, is because they're getting the money to do it. Much of what I think needs to be done in this campaign could be cured if the Democratic funders who are standing on the sidelines were to get involved and get involved now. I think that Joe Biden will go or finish this process leading in delegate votes. He, he, needs, he needs cash. Uh, there's a guy in the race right now that's got a few billion dollars that he could perhaps <laughs> he could perhaps give Joe Biden to help run the rest of the campaign. But we heard from we heard from Mike Bloomberg a few minutes ago. He said that that Joe Biden was taking votes away from him. <laughs> well, that may be true. And I think the reverse is also true. What I do believe, though, it's relative to stock of everything when tonight is over. All the candidates ought to do as Amy, Pete, and Beto did on yesterday. Take stock and see what is necessary to help put this country back on track. I think that when the night is over, we'll demonstrate that Joe Biden is the best of a good crop of candidates. I've been telling everybody, we got some good candidates. I just believe that of all the good candidates, the best to go into November is Joe Biden. I can support any of the others uh, that will get the nomination over the current occupant of the White House. Right. I just believe uh, that Joe Biden is the best bet for us to take uh, at this time.
Congressman Jim Clyburn. Congressman, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you for your time. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.